Hello students, welcome back to JJ's physics class. Today we are going to discuss about velocity time graphs and how to interpret velocity time graph. Velocity time graph shows how velocity changes over time. As we know that when you plot the graph, velocity is a dependent quantity on time. So velocity is taken over the y axis and time is an independent quantity or independent variable which will be taken on the x-axis. What are the key things to remember here? As we know that the speed time graph or velocity time graph tell us how someone or something speed has changed over a period of time. The first thing you need to remember the gradient of velocity time graph always gives acceleration of an object. Negative gradient indicating that it's called deceleration of an object or the object acceleration is decreasing. Flat section means that the object is moving with constant velocity. That means the acceleration is zero. That does not mean that the object is not stopped. And area under the graph gives either the distance traveled or the displacement of an object. Let us start with an example. This is a velocity time graph. Time is taken along the x-axis and velocity is taken along the y-axis. So this is the nature of the graph. So how to interpret this velocity time graph? The object is at position O, then it started moving. That means this straight line or positive gradient indicating that it accelerates slowly compared to this portion. So let us denote each section as A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. As you can see that from A to B, it accelerates slowly. But compared to A, B, the B, C means slope is more steeper. So that means it accelerates quickly. From C to D, it's a constant speed. That means the acceleration is zero. When velocity is constant, we say that the acceleration is zero. From D to E, it slows down. That means rapid deceleration. E to F, the object is not moving. It's completely stopped. And from F to G, it speeds up but in the opposite direction. That's very, very important. But from G to H, again it is moving with a constant speed but in the opposite direction. So here you can see that the two portions CD and GH, the object is moving at a constant velocity. That means in both cases, the acceleration is zero. So what we can interpret from this graph? When it is flat, the acceleration is zero. As you can see that the acceleration is zero at this point that is G to H as well as C to D. When it is positive, the object is accelerating. So here you can see that these portions, the object is accelerating. When it is negative, the object is decelerating. So here this is the deceleration, this portion D to E, it's decelerating. When it is a straight line, but not flat, it is accelerating or decelerating uniformly. From A to B, you can see that it accelerates slowly. If it is steep, it is accelerating or decelerating very fast. That means at this point. From B to C, it accelerates quickly. From D to E, it decelerates quickly. You can say that when it is completely flat and if it is on the x-axis, that is the time axis, then you can say that it is completely stopped. This is how we describe the motion of an object using velocity time graph. When a velocity time graph lies in the first quadrant, that means the object is traveling in a positive direction. If the line slopes away from the x-axis, so this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis, so it's a velocity time graph. If the distance of this line increases or if the line slopes away from the x or the time axis, you can say that it is gaining speed. 
that means it accelerates in a positive direction. If it slopes towards the x-axis or time axis, we can say that it is losing speed or we say that it is a negative acceleration. This is a positive acceleration. Suppose if it is a straight line that is parallel to the x-axis like this, we can say that the acceleration is zero or the object is moving with constant velocity. Next, if the velocity time graph lies in the fourth quadrant, that is this quadrant, then the object is losing or gaining speed in a negative direction. Here you can see that gaining speed, that means it is moving away from the time axis in the opposite direction. So we call it as negative acceleration. Here you can see that losing speed and it is moving towards the time axis. We call it as positive acceleration. If it is constant speed, you can say that it has acceleration is equal to zero. So how do we calculate acceleration from the graph? As we know that the acceleration can be calculated as the slope of each velocity time graph. Slope is nothing but delta v by delta x. What is delta v? Change in y variable divided by change in the x-axis variable. So that gives you the acceleration which is nothing but the slope of velocity time graph. So gaining speed in a positive direction we call it as positive acceleration. Gaining speed in a negative direction we call it as deceleration or negative acceleration. Losing speed in a positive direction we call it as negative acceleration. Losing speed in a negative direction call it as positive acceleration.